My name is Victoria and in this video I'll explain what DNS Pro finish bad config error is and how you can solve it. Let's get started. When you visit a website using Google Chrome, the errors sometimes appear out of nowhere. This message indicates that the domain name system, also known as DNS, can connect the site's domain name or IP address with its corresponding web server. As a result, the website becomes inaccessible to visitors. But what is the exact cause of this issue? Several factors can trigger this error message, including DNS settings, misconfiguration, network connection problems, corrupted browser cache, and third-party extensions. Although frustrating, there are ways you can try to fix it. Let's go over each of them. The simplest method often works best, so try rebooting your internet connection. Restart your router and device, give it a minute or two, then check whether the issue is fixed. If that didn't do the trick, let's continue. Each time you visit a web page, your browser will store some of the page's files, known as cache memory. This method speeds up the loading process the next time you revisit the site. When a cached file becomes corrupted or outdated, it can cause DNS errors. Clearing your browser cache is an effective way to solve the error. Let me show you how to do it on Google Chrome. First, click on the three-dot menu on the top right side of your browser. Then, access More Tools and select Clear Browsing Data. When the tab opens, set the time range to All Time. Tick all the checkboxes and click Clear Data. Your firewall or antivirus software can block the website's connection, triggering the error message. To fix this issue, deactivate your firewall or antivirus software for a short time. Remember, deactivating your antivirus will expose your operating system to malware threats, so immediately turn it back on if you're positive the software isn't the one causing DNS errors. To disable your Windows firewall, type Windows Security in the search bar and open the app. On the left navigation menu, select Firewall and Network Protection. If you use Windows 11, click Privacy and Security to access the Windows Security menu. Then choose a network profile, domain network, private network or public network. Switch off the Microsoft Defender firewall. For macOS users, open the Apple menu and navigate to System Settings. Access Network and select Firewall tab. Then go ahead and disable the firewall. You'll know the software is at fault if the error message disappears. Try updating it to the latest version or contact the support team for help. A website blocker restricts your access to certain websites or apps, while this extension is great for limiting distracting content and improving productivity, it can also interfere with your DNS configuration. So if you have a website blocker installed on Google Chrome, try disabling it temporarily. Open the three-dot menu and open Extensions. Switch off the website blocker extension or remove it completely. One more troubleshooting method is to delete temporary files from your computer. Just like your web browser, the operating system stores temporary files from the internet, such as cache, cookies, and browsing history details. When one of those files is corrupted, it will trigger the error. To delete temporary files on Windows, fill this term in the search bar and press Enter. Once the temp directory opens, click Select All and choose Delete. On macOS, the process is a bit different. First, close all active apps, hit Finder and press Shift-Command-G. Once go to folder window appears, enter the following path to access temporary files. Right-click all cache folders and select Move to Trash. Just double-check before clicking the button that you are not deleting anything critical. When you visit a website, your operating system will automatically save the site's IP address and other DNS records. While the system will clear out the DNS cache regularly, sometimes forcing a DNS flush is necessary if you struggle to access a website. Let's see how the process works on both Windows and Mac OS. Enter CMD in the search bar to find Windows command prompt. Once the command prompt windows appear, 
type ipconfig slash flash DNS and hit enter. Once completed, you'll see a message saying successfully flash the DNS resolver cache. If you're a macOS user, press command space to access Spotlight. Enter terminal into search field and open the terminal. Run the following command and press enter. Sometimes you may also see a prompt asking for your admin password. Simply type in your password, click enter again, and you're all set. Try switching your DNS server address to the ones provided by Google. Use the search box to access your control panel, go to network and internet and click network and sharing center. On the left menu, select change adapter settings and choose a network connection. For this video, I will change the DNS settings of my Wi-Fi. Simply right-click on it and select Properties. Under the Networking tab, find Internet Protocol version 4 and hit Properties. Click Advanced and head to the DNS tab. Save your current DNS server address so you can always revert later if you wish. Then remove the address and add one of the following Google IP addresses. 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. First and 8.8.4.4 second. Click OK to save the changes. If you are on macOS, open the Apple menu and go to System Settings. Select Network in the sidebar and choose a network service. Again, I'll use Wi Fi as an example. Go ahead and click Details and choose DNS. Remove your current DNS server from the list and add a Google IP address. If none of the methods have worked so far, resetting your network settings can also solve the DNS error. To reset the network settings on Windows Open Settings menu, choose Network and Internet and select Status. Scroll down, open Network Reset, then click Reset Now. Since there is no specific function to reset network settings on macOS, the easiest alternative is to remove and re-add your internet connection settings. Simply access System Settings from the Apple menu and open Network. If you're using Wi-Fi, select your connection, click Details, and then select Forget this network. Then add your Wi-Fi connection again. You can try a more intricate solution if the DNS error message still appears. First, you'll need to turn off your Wi-Fi. Then open Finder, select Go to Folder by pressing the Shift Command G shortcut. Type the following path and press Enter. Once you see the system configuration window, delete these files. Just don't forget to restart your device and turn the Wi-Fi back on. Besides using a Google IP address, requesting a new IP address from the dynamic host configuration protocol, also called DHCP, is also possible. To renew your IP address on Windows, open Command Prompt and run the following commands. On macOS, open the Apple menu and go to System Settings. Head to Network, choose a Network Service and click Details. Select TCP slash IP, then renew the DHCP lease. Click OK to finish. Outdated network drivers can cause many connection problems, including our bothersome error. As a last resort, I recommend updating your network drivers. Start by accessing the Device Manager control panel on your Windows device. Then update each driver under Network Adapters by right-clicking them individually and selecting Update Driver. Restart your device and try accessing the website again to see if the invalid message disappears. Unfortunately, there is no option to update the network driver on Apple devices. Fortunately, you don't need to worry if your device runs the latest macOS version. Good job! That's how you solve the DNS probe finished bad config error in Chrome. Don't forget to like and share the video if you know someone with a similar problem. Hit the subscribe button for more troubleshooting tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.